Now let's try that uh, negative flap. Looks like I'm landing upside down. <laughs> But it works. <laughs> okay, first experiment with the run. I've taken out the Overlander battery, which was the uh, standard receiver battery. It's uh, two thirds AAA. I'm now trying a 650 milliamp hour, one cell, 3.7 volt. I'm sticking that right up the front, but it meant that the C of G has now gone from 37 to 45 millimeters back. Let's see what happens. Right, so here we go. This is the ridge run with the RFC of G with the single cell LiPo. Way. Yeah. Literally fine with a lot of down elevator in at the moment just to get it to work. Whoa. Let me just to put in some down trim. So you can see now that with that she's now very twitchy, possibly at the furthest point you want to go back. So if you're using a single cell, yeah she's still very stally. There you go, that's got her sorted but I've got a lot of down elevator in. She turns better on the old uh, ailerons. But very twitchy. Will drop a wing very, very easily. So I would say that's the minimum, the maximum you'd want to go with the ridge run. Right, okay, got it down. Yeah, I wouldn't go any further back than that. So I would say that 37 millimeters is absolutely spot on. Um, I'm gonna try it with some weight in the front as well, just to see what happens. So I'm gonna go back to the Overlander battery and then stick some weight in. Right, so I've gone back to the standard um, battery and I've now put 10 grams in the nose. So that's actually made the C of G. I've brought that forward to 30 millimeters from the leading edge. Let's see what happens. Well, as you'd expect, it's now flying nose down. I've now had to put a lot of up trim in. I mean, it's flying very well. So this is with the... Uh... He definitely flies faster with that trim, or with that extra nose weight. See how she rolls. Right, so got the rates on. Let's build a bit of speed and let's see what happens at a roll now. Not bad. And actually she's staying, uh, the rolling inverted is better. So it's a positive for the uh, <laughs> forward C G, which you would expect. Okay, next little experiment. What we're gonna do is flicker the switch. I'm just putting some reflex in. I can actually control the amount of reflex but I don't want to go mad. I'm just going to put it up about there. 
on the switch and then let's see what happens when we want to do aerobatics uh, inverted maneuvers and let's try inverted flying just that's full down elevator just to hold her in place so what we want to do is have another go with that but by using the uh, reflex that we've got now let's try that to negative flap like I'm landing upside down <laughs> but it works <laughs> okay so I've done some experiments with flying inverted and I found with this amount of reflex on the aileron I found I'm not having to use any down elevator uh, when it's inverted so let me show you there you go she's flying inverted Oh, you twat. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's the wing in normal configuration. Flick the switch and then roll. Ah, 